Okay, so priority queue is a class, and we do need to create a new priority queue, but we usually still just assign it to a variable of type queue, because we're calling all the same methods, we just have a different behavior, okay? So this is like polymorphism at work. So I'm gonna say create a priority queue of to-do items. So I'll make the variable of type Q, and we're going to actually use a class called work order. And I'm going to show you this class in a moment. It's just one I threw together for the purpose of this example. And we'll call our priority Q just Q. And we'll say new priority Q. There we go. So we have to create a new concrete class, priority Q, but we'll assign it to a variable of type Q, because all we're going to call is like add and remove and peek and stuff. I'm going to, work order is already included in this folder. Here's the class. It implements the comparable interface, which is required. If it didn't, our code won't even compile. Two instance variables, an integer priority and a string description. And I have a constructor, and I have a two string method, and I have to have a compare to method. And the compare to method simply looks at the priority instance variable and whichever one is a lower priority gets sorted first, has a more urgent priority. That's it. If they have the same priority, it says they're equal. Okay. So let's add some things to your list. All right, important stuff. Your folks had me, uh, they might have influenced your to-do list for the weekend. So new work order, priority three, vacuum. Excellent to help out keeping the house clean. So priority three to vacuum. Important, not critically important, important. All right, um, I'm gonna copy stuff here just so I don't have to retype all this. All right, we're gonna add to the priority queue a new work order of priority two, more important, water plants. If you don't water the plants, they're gonna die. So that's more important. Um, other more important things. You need to make dinner. Otherwise, you're going to be hungry. Um, other pretty important things. You need to walk the dog, or else you're going to have a whole nother set of tasks on your to-do list. All right. This one, they specifically asked me to make priority nine. Play video games. Excellent. And the most important thing for this weekend, priority one, take chapter 15 practice quiz. Just kidding, you don't have to take the chapter quiz. I mean, if you want to, you can. Like, we're pretty much done with chapter 15, but you can wait till next week when we get more practice. All right, so there's your to-do list for the weekend. So what are you going to do? You're basically going to be like a while loop. You're going to say, while there are still things for me to do, Procrastinate. No, just kidding. You're going to actually remove it from the list. System.out.println. Q.remove. Remove the next, remove the most urgent item in the priority queue. Remove returns the value of that item. We're going to print it out so you know what to do. Here's what I'd like you to try. Okay, this is a little, not as straightforward as the queue was. Look at what we've added to the queue. Look at their priorities and try to predict what order will these different to-do items be printed out when you run this code. So think through that first, do the prediction, then run the code and see if anything is surprising. 